Ladies and gentlemen, South Africa's done it again. It's come up with revolutionary technology. It's just reinvented the donkey cart. What do you think of this, Ramon? Apparently, we've got some donkey carts up in the north of the country for uh, developmental purposes. Yeah, so basically, the government cannot build roads or fix potholes or anything like that. And in a sheer moment of genius, the government have thought, why give all those wonderful Western things to our people when we can just give donkey carts instead? So there will be no expectation of giving roads to our people. And if you think we are joking, ladies and gentlemen, we are in fact not in the slightest. The government in the Northwest has spent 800,000 rand on new donkey carts, which include, of course, a three-year maintenance plan. <laughs> On a donkey cart. What on earth is a maintenance plan on a donkey cart, one might ask. Uh, we actually don't know the, the details of the article. Do not go into that. But Byron, it says here, uh, these donkey carts will be used for, you know, sending pupils to schools, uh, for ambulances, and to get the elderly to collect their uh, pension payouts. Not that bad, is it? I think that it's telling that in South Africa, we have a decolonization program. And as part of our decolonization program, we've abandoned Western technology and gone back to donkey carts. Look, in fairness, it's probably actually a pretty good program. Theoretically, right? Okay. It's like in some rural areas, there's no real roads. There's a lot of, should we say, um, unofficial roads, whether it just be a gravel patch and uh, it's very difficult for people to get in and out of those locations. So with that being said, a donkey cart may actually provide them with the, the, the relevant transportation to get where they need to go. But there is the more sinister side of this, which is just under a mill for a bunch of donkey carts. And who's feeding the donkey? If you take into account forms of ANC caters that we have seen in other sectors of the country that have allowed farms to go untended, their animals on those farms to basically starve to death and never be fed. What about all the vaccinations? It's highly likely that some of these uh, these donkeys will go without vaccinations, which could lead to, should we say, uh, mass diseases, things like the equivalent of foot and mouth. Don't know. I'm not a donkey specialist, mate, so I'm just speculating. You're not a donkey being, we are ruled by donkeys. <laughs> I'm a donkey specialist because we're ruled by them. But don't worry that there is, a, you know, gender diversity on the table because most of the beneficiaries of the said donkey carts will be women because we know they can't drive. So as well give the donkey cart. That's not my words. This is just the inference drawn by the ANC policy. You know, don't look at me. It's not my words. Um, and then, you know, there was a lot of excitement about this and uh, the person responsible for the donkey carts, the member of, I don't know, politics up there said the community is to take care of the carts or well, mate if you look at the carts it's basically like a few steel tubes fused together i mean i'm sure i can put this together in like two hours not for forty two thousand rand though which is apparently what they cost yeah and i think that's kind of funny considering some older cars actually cost forty two thousand. so it's actually not for off a motor vehicle with that being said it still doesn't say even in the article Who's paying for the donkey and who's feeding the donkey? Uh, the woman who ride them. Is, is, that's my uh -huh. thoughts. That's my thoughts, at least. But yeah, welcome to um, yeah, South Africa in 2022, where the president promised uh, bullet trains and smart cities. And at the end of the day, you get a donkey carts because TIA. I don't know what else there is to say <laughs> about the story. Look, Ray, I think it's kind of funny, though, because, like, they're saying we got these things for transportation. Do you know how fast the donkey goes? 24 kilometers an hour, mate. Did you actually Google 24 that? kilometers. I actually Googled it. You see, and people an say hour. we don't do research on this channel. That is good consumer advice right there. Like, it's faster than a lot of e-scooters that I know of. A friend of mine got an e-scooter, so you, you know the thing you stand on. That mm -hmm. top speed was 20 kilometers per hour, so you're better off with a donkey cart, actually. Than an electronic That's what I say. There is a degree of of of, of stupid stupid logic to this. Like, okay, I get what they were trying to do, but you have to kind of think of this in the in the landscape of South Africa. Like, this is a place where we pay millions for a stadium. There's basically some scaffolding. 
And here we have a, a cool mill put on some donkey carts. Let's also not forget that, you know, it was just over a year ago that the Eastern Cape spent a couple mil on, you know, their, late, <laughs> their latest ambulances, which were bicycles. Do you remember that? Uh, actually, those were, I mean, listen, Morning Shot was the only media company that actually spoke to the person who created those ambulance scooters. And those things are legit. I'll go to my grave. Those things were completely legit. They are used all over Africa. They were made in the Eastern Cape and they would have worked extremely well. But unfortunately, the tender process was completely bungled. That's why it failed. But those would be much better than donkey carts. I mean, come on, you get a few, you get a trike, you get a few seats at the back, a bit of petrol, much better than donkey carts. But you know, that's a bit too first world. Thailand came up with these years ago, mate. It's like, you want to get around Thailand, you know, there's all like the guys with the little scooters. They were meant to all just be tourist traps, but no, this is South Africa, mate. Most other countries use them as jokes and as tourist traps. We're like, no, that's legitimate transportation. You need that to get to the local, the local discim. Cause you know, them discims don't like them whites. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. I love South Africa. It's such a clown show. It is an absolute clown show. Um, but it's good to know that. There was a handover ceremony. Uh, the uh, animal drawn carts had the government branding on the side. It's just, you know, Cyril Pausa promises bullet trains in smart cities. And instead, we got donkey carts emblazoned with the logo of the South African government. It just doesn't get any better than that. And I don't know what else to say, if I'm really honest. Well, I can say is like in the Western world, everybody's sitting there worried about like too much privacy, cameras everywhere, police states, 1984, surveillance states, and we're like donkey carts. <laughs> Why would you want to live anywhere else, man? If you're a freedom loving person, move to Africa. Yeah. It doesn't get more free. We got it, donkey carts, man. Yeah. As an official government policy, not just like by happenstance, as an official government policy, donkey carts. Excellent. For once, we actually sort of do like the ANC. I, I don't disagree with this. It's just hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so let us know in the comments down below. Would you go to school in a donkey cart? Uh, otherwise, yeah. Anyway, bye. <laughs> bye.